wall thickness after rejection from the mold injection molded parts are cooled down from manufacturing temperatures so that they can hold their shape when ejected during the part cooling step of the molding process change in pressure velocity and plastic viscosity should be minimized to avoid the defects few aspects are more crucial during this period than wall thickness this feature can have major effects on the cost production speed and quality of the final parts proper wall thickness choosing the proper wall thickness for your part can have drastic effects on the cost and production speed of the manufacturing while there are no wall thickness restrictions the goal is to choose thinnest wall possible thinner walls use less material which reduces the cost and takes less time to cool reducing the cycle time the minimum wall thickness that can be used depend on the size of the geometry of the part and structural requirements and flow behavior of the resin the wall thickness of an injection molded part generally range from 2 mm to 4 mm thin wall injection molding can produce wall as thin as 0.5 mm This chart shows recommended wall thickness for common injection molding resins. Uniform wall thickness. Thick section takes longer to cool than thin ones. During the cooling process, if walls have inconsistent thickness, the thinner walls will cool first while the thick walls are still solidifying. As the thick section cools, it shrinks around the already solid thinner sections. This causes warping, twisting and cracking to occur where two sections meet. To avoid this problem, try to design with completely uniform wall throughout the part. When uniform walls are not possible, then the then change in thickness should be as gradual as possible. Wall thickness variation should not exceed 10% in high mold shrinkage plastics. Thickness transition should be made gradually or in order of 3 to 1. This gradual transition avoids stress concentrations and abrupt cooling differences. If your part is so complex that you need variations on your wall thickness, look for an alternative. You may want to design features such as coating or using ribs. At the very least, try not to make transition between thicker and thinner sections too abrupt. Try using gradual transitions or chamfered corners to minimize the dramatic change in pressure inside the mold.